Hello everybody, this is Tetsuo. I'm going to show you guys how to put an IK rig onto a valve biped. So what I have here is a decompiled scientist model and I opened up or imported the head and the body and with that came the skeleton. So I'm in pose mode right now <coughs> and you'll see that if I want him to pose anything you have to move each bone one at a time and and that is very annoying and it's kind of hard to get realistic results so that's where a IK rig comes in handy so I'm going to clear all these transforms um, select one of the hands and add a bone constraint inverse kinematics and don't worry about setting targets or pull targets and don't worry that this thing is red just click your chain length up a couple. You don't want to leave that at zero. So see this is going up to his shoulder and whenever you move this bone it's going to modify everything on this chain up to that shoulder. So now we can grab his hand and see that this is affecting everything the way we want it to. So I already put one on his arm, his other arm, and I put one on this leg. So we're going to do one for this guy too add bone constraint, inverse kinematics, and just click the chain length up a little bit. Now you can see, you know, it's kind of, it's a little weird, but it uh, gets it very, very close to where you want to be. We can even do one on the head. So select the head, add a bone constraint, inverse kinematics, and click it down to where we get to the spine right here. We don't want to go to the pelvis because it's the root bone. Uh, it's going to try to modify that root bone, and that's no good, no blame. So now we can bend him over, do some weird stuff. Um, but it's all quick and easy to do, and you only have to move one bone at a time. Even though he looks like he's in excruciating agony right now, we might want that pose. So in my next video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually make an animation with this IK rig. Uh, right now I'm going to clear transforms and I will see you in the next video. Uh, if you guys like this video, let me know. If you want me to show you how to make anything else with the valve bipeds or with Blender or with anything relating to Half-Life 1, Gold Source, Counter-Strike, and Blender, let me know. Drop me a comment in the video and I can, I'll do what I can.